Hey everybody, welcome back to Playing Baseball Cards. This is Matt. And today I was sitting around wanting to do a video, but Targets and Walmarts are bare. And my LCS, which in the area of the country where I live, the closest LCS we have to us is about oh, about an hour and 20 minutes away, and it's well worth the ride. I really like uh, this gentleman's shop. And anyways, I was sitting around and I was like, well, I have a lot of unopened product. So I figured I would open up every uh, package of everything that I have from this year. So without any further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start off with Tops Series 1 Fat Pack. We can all remember back when this came out with spring getting ready for spring uh, training. Peggy and I were in Cleveland at the Indians Fan Fest before all this COVID crap hit. And we were looking forward to a really fun season and unfortunately that didn't happen. In my opinion, uh, Series 1 is the best set from this year, uh, just because the season was kind of messed up. So we got a nice Nick Senzel there from the Cincinnati Reds, Nico Goodrum, Tony Goslin, Jason Kipnis, he was no longer with the Indians at that point, but Jay Bruce, Robel Garcia, Patrick Corbin, Jesus Aguilar, Craig Kimbrell, Milwaukee Brewers team card, Keston Hira in the background there, Christian and Nolan, like father and like son, Bo Bichette and Kevin Biggio, home run challenge, well we didn't get to use those this year, and of course it wouldn't be a Walmart set if we didn't have Reese Hoskins in it. Uh, 1990 Barry Larkin, here come the turkey red cards. Clayton Kershaw, I don't know Boyd, Matthew Boyd, I'm not familiar with the Tigers, I don't really follow the Tigers all that closely. Got a rookie card of Tyler Alexander, Daniel Murphy, Bobby Bradley, who really didn't have a breakout year, but uh, Andrew Heaney, Yusei Kikuchi, Mike Soroka Gold Cup card, Adam Frazier, Tommy Edmond, Josh Fagley, team card for the Mets, Pete Alonzo there, Minnesota Twins team card, Marco Gonzalez, Lewis Thorpe, Brian Anderson, Mike Moustakis, Matt Stassi, and Andrew Morjohn. We didn't get any of the big rookies in there. But that's okay. It's fun to open up packs anyways. Put Bobby Bradley on the top there. And then in order that they came out, I want to say Heritage was next. I think that was the next product that came out. Heritage, I really like Heritage this year. It does 1971 style. Um, one of my favorite cards that I have in my collection is I have a Francisco Lindor coin card. I believe it's out of 15. If any of you have ever seen those coin cards, it's got the, it's got a nickel from 1971 in there. And I really like the 1971 set. If you're looking for vintage, this is a great set to collect, but it's so hard to get in PSA 10s because of this black border tends to wear off of the older cards. We got Gregory Polanco, Tony Walters, Kyle Seeger, Josh Stamet and Bubba Starling, Jorge Soler, JT Real Muto. Don't know where he's going to end up, but boy, he's a good one. Christian Yelich, he had an off year. Jorge Soler. Uh, 
uh, that guy. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name. I don't really follow the Diamondbacks all that much. Chance Cisco, Mikhail Franco, Rianto Nunez, Byron Buxton, and Orlando Arkea. Nothing really earth shattering out of that set. Then I believe the next to come out was Chrome. Chrome is one of my favorite sets. I like all things shiny. I like Chrome everything. This is the first time I've opened up one of these cello packs. You get three packs, there's four cards, and then the bonus pink refractor cards, which are kind of cool. So let's see what we get in here. I think Lou Bob might be in this set. Not real sure. Nice Jordan Alvarez. Carlos Santana. Not with the Indians anymore. Mike Yaskrimski, he's a good player. And we got a, oh, that's a nice card there. That's sleeve worthy. Uh, we got a Prism Refractor. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Prism Refractor of rookie Dylan Cease. He's going to be, boy, the White Sox are going to be good. They are going to be good. Especially if they get trucked by. Nice Marcus Simeon, Xander Bogarts, Trent Gresham, and Brendan McKay. Nice card from the Tampa Bay Rays. He had a very nice season this year. That's, I believe this is a 1985 style card. He had a nice year this year. Put that up there. Last chrome pack before we hit the refractor cards. Got a nice round of Cunha Jr. there. That might be... Not real sure. I haven't opened up a whole lot of this product. I don't know if that is a photo variant. Nope, it is not a photo variant, but a very nice card nonetheless. Jacob deGrom and a Bobby Bradley rookie card. So that's a nice card, since I'm an Indians fan. So what do you guys think of the Cleveland Indians changing their name? I'm not a fan, but the powers that be, seeing that we should go ahead and change the name because it offends people. I don't want to offend anybody, but it has been the Cleveland Indians for 105 years. Let's see what we can pull out of this pink pack. Let's see if we can get any, any of the nice rookies out of here. Got a nice Chris Paddock there. Travis Dimitri. I love these pink parallels. Got a Colin Morgan and a Carlos Santana. Oh, there's a last card there. And a Marcus Simeon. None of the big rookies, but nice cards nonetheless. Then I think what came out next was Stadium Club. And I haven't opened up any of these cello packs. I guess they're fat packs. Haven't opened up any of these yet. I've opened up some hobby, but none of these. Got a nice rookie card there, Dustin May. Nick Castellanos. Lucas Giolito, he threw a couple no-nos this year. Bubba Starling, nice rookie card. Lordy Scario Jr. with that crazy hairdo. Nomar Marziana. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a chrome card. That's a nice one of Jordan Alvarez. 
Boy, I seem to be pulling, you know, I think everybody's pulling a lot of his cards, but, you know, he did not play. I think he only played the first game of the year. But that's a nice card in Stadium Club Chrome. I was only able to find one box of Stadium Club Chrome, and I didn't even find the box. It was a buddy of mine, and he sold it to me for what he paid for it. And I promised Peggy I would not open it up until she was around. Got a Maurizio Dubon, and that should be, oh, that's nice. That is called the Sepia card. We'll get that one sleeved up. This should be a parallel. That's a red parallel, if you could notice where it says his name is in red. It doesn't come up on the, there we go. Chris Bryant, any card that's upside down like that will be a parallel. Got a nice Kevin Biggio there. Dakota Hudson from the Cardinals. And Matt Chapman. So that was a pretty decent pack there. Pretty decent pack. Okay, then I want to say, boy, Archives and Series 2 came out pretty close together. Let's open up the Archives. This is another fat pack. I've opened up some blasters of this, but I haven't opened up a cello pack like this. I like the design. I haven't hit anything. That's the design I like there the best. That's the 56. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That's a nice card. Very, very, very nice card. I'm not that big of a fan of these cards, but they are nice nonetheless. JT Real Muto. Brian Reynolds from the Pirates. Throwback. Ralph Kinnear. Or Kiner, I'm sorry. Hall of Famer. Another Hall of Famer, Ricky Henderson. That's a beautiful card. Charlie Morton from the Tampa Bay Rays. Then we got Dansby Swanson, Nellie Cruz, Dave Winfield. I don't know if he'll ever get into the Hall of Fame or not. Sandy Alcantara, Ted Williams, Hall of Famer. What is this? This. I've never seen that. Must be an insert there. That's a pretty nice card. We'll sleeve that one up. Here's one of the biggest cards you can get in the set. Eloy Jimenez, gold, gold star, or gold, uh, all-star rookie. I b believe Pete Alonzo is in this set. Tatis is in this set. Uh, these are pretty nice cards. These are really, really, really nice cards. We'll get that sleeved up. Johnny Cuto. Michael Conforto. Look for him to have another breakout. He's kind of been struggling a little bit. Hall of Famer Dennis Eckersley. He used to play for the Indians. Played for a lot of teams. That's back when he was with the Red Sox. Hall of Famer Rod Carew. And the Rocket, Roger Clemens. I don't know if Roger will ever get in since he was kind of, well, I don't think kind of, I think he admitted to PEDs. Okay, then I believe Series 2 came out. I wasn't a big fan of this when it came out because really there was only one rookie in there that everybody was chasing, but it turned out to be a pretty decent set. Brent Suter, Jed Lowry, Scott Heinemann, rookie card, Danny Santana, inaugural season, I love that. Maybe poor guys who didn't even get to, didn't get to have people in the stadium. Mookie Betts in his L.A. uniform, Brandon Workman, Joey Gallo, Tucker Barnhart, Nick Castellanos, Giants team card. Boy, there's a lot of these cards in there just because they didn't, you know, they only had 60-game season. Nick Mayfield, 
Drew Stackrider, Roughnet Ordur, Dylan Moore, Eric Sogard. Never even heard of him. Might have come up for a cup of coffee. Victor Katrini, Yamaguchi. Cal Quantrill now plays for the Cleveland Indians. Corey Dickerson. Yanni Serinos. Sin Su Chu. It's really only one card you're chasing in this set. That's a nice one. Anthony Rendon. I don't think he was worth the money the Angels paid for him. Kind of wish he would have stayed with... Uh, stayed with uh, Washington, but... There's my man right there, Pete Alonzo, the Empire State card. I PC Pete. Got some nice turkey reds. Jack Flaherty. He didn't have too great of a year, but he'll be all right. Joey Wendell. Cole Hamels. Braves. And Nick Ahmed. Did not get the Lou Bob out of that set. That's the big card in the set. I have a couple of them. Then I want to say Chronicles came out. Now, I don't normally, I think you guys that have watched my videos know that I'm not a real big fan of Panini products when it comes to baseball. But for some reason, I love the Chronicles set. And I think it's just because they're all different cards from all the other different sets that they made. But I had a blaster box laying around of those. Four packs. Let's see if we can get anything good out of here because we haven't pulled anything really crazy. Got a Vladdy Jr. Susugo, a rookie card. Dylan Cease. Raphael Devers. Oh, and that's Sparkle Mookie Betts. That's a nice card. The Obsidian's a nice card, too. I just. Don't care for Panini just because it don't have the logos on it. But I do like this set. And like I said, I think it's just because oh, I've got a nice Acuna on the back there. Let's see what we see what we got. Aaron Judge. I love these vinyl cards too. One that's coming up. Kind of sticking together a little bit. Steven Strasburg. Kim. Nico Horner, that's a nice card there. That'll go into the PC. That's called a vinyl card. Nolan Arenado. Not numbered. Haven't got anything numbered yet either. And a Sparkle Ronald Acuna Jr. That's a pretty nice card too. Open up this one. Nice Juan Soto on the back. I PC Juan Soto also. Brendan McKay rookie card. Another Nico Horner. I've never got one of those out of Limited. I've never gotten one of those. Oh, nice Bo Bichette also. Shiny card certified. Mike Trout. It's always good to get a Mike Trout. Always good to get a Mike Trout. Garrett Cole Mosaic. And a nice sparkly card of Juan Soto. IPC Juan Soto also. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to comment. Let me know what cards you like to PC. I mean, I know we all have our favorite teams. I don't just follow the Cleveland Indians. I primarily follow the Indians, the Mets. And the Washington Nationals. I kind of follow everybody, though. Certain teams like the Rockies. I don't know. I just... 
maybe it's just the area of the country where I live. Uh, where I live, everybody's either a, a, a Cardinals fan or a Cubs fan. And so I kind of keep up on those teams, even though I'm not a real big fan of those teams. I got a nice Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Bryce Harper. Gavin Lux, that's a nice card right there. He's going to be a good one. I don't know what they're going to do with him, but he's going to be a good one. I haven't got one of those yet either. Kyle Lewis Crusade. Ooh, that's, that's an immediate sleever. That is a really, really nice card. And I've never pulled one of those from this product before. Your American League Rookie of the Year. Numbered, oh, it's numbered too. Out of 199. Nice pull there. It's about time. That's a nice pull. Then you got Jalen Davis rookie card from San Francisco. And a Yamaguchi. Very nice. Okay, I know for a fact the next one to come out was Bowman Chrome. I really like Bowman. I like the prospects. Even though everybody wants flagship product or Chrome product, I really like Bowman Chrome. These are a little weird. There's like three packs and then two packs of mojo and they're all kind of just kind of jostled around in there. And I don't like how they package them, but I haven't got one. I'm sure that's out. I haven't got one that's uh cards have been banged up or anything. We'll save the mojo packs for last. I did pull an auto out of this one time. Jesus Lazardo, that's a nice rookie card. Albert Alzale. Bo Bichette, that's a banger pack. Randy Azarina. And Yu Chang. He's probably going to be our second baseman in opening day. Even though by trade he's a shortstop. I don't know if Lindor is going to be around. Oh, well, I'm. Pretty dang sure Lindor ain't going to be around. We've got a nice Christian Yelich there. Marcus Simeon. Yvonne Longoria. Bryce Harper. And Belly Bomb, Cody Bellinger. Garbage Can Man. Jose Barrios. Mike Clevenger, I miss Sunshine, Juan Soto, and Matt Chapman. Austin Meadows, a nice season. Anthony Rizzo, Ronald Acuna Jr. Miggy Cabrera and Jose Abreu. Do a little housekeeping here. Last pack of the regular Chrome. We got a Brian Reynolds, Nico Horner, Yusei Kikuchi. My man, Frankie Lindor, that is my favorite player right there. And J.D. Martinez. And let's see, there's most, usually just prospects in these packs. Let's see what we can pull out of these. Got a Nolan Gorman. Kyle Mueller. Atlanta. Andreas Jimenez, just the green parallel. Ryan Castellini, Steel Walker. 
Let's see if we can get some last pack magic. Out of here. Jay Groom. Jason Dominguez, there you go. That's a nice card. That is sleeve worthy right away. Everybody's after that man's card. Everybody is after that one. Got a Dawn of Glory. Christian Pache. Nice card. And a Shane McCarthy. Don't know anything about Shane McCarthy. He was drafted the fifth. Does that say 533rd all? 533rd. <laughs> Drafted him in uh, 2018, in round 18. Yeah, he might not be up. And a Christian Pache. That's a nice card there, too. He's a good player. His rookie card is not out yet. It will probably be in Series 1. Because he did come up last year. So that was pretty nice. That was a pretty nice box there from Bowman. Okay. Some last pack magic, 2020 update. I have not opened much of this up at all just because it's not around. I do have a box of Fat packs that I'm putting in my collection for unopened product. Got a Josh Fegley, David McKay, Diego Castillo, Josh Tomlin, Adam Kinsler, JV. Wouldn't be a pack unless you had Bryce Harper. Kelly Jansen, Zach Green, Brock Holt. Bartolo Colon, El Gordo. He's a good player, though. Domingo Santana, not our second baseman anymore. Sam Travis, oh, Bryce Harper. Yokan Moncada, oh, got a, the, oh, these are Walmart parallels. I've seen these. Brian Johnson, Derek Jeter, nice Derek Jeter there. Marcus Simeon. Gabe Spear, Alex Verdugo, Jacob deGrom, Mike Moustakas, Devin Williams, Edwin Encarnacion. Boy, I really liked him when he played for the Indians. Still do like him. Cy Sneed, Albert Pujols, Frank Schwindel, Brian Johnson, and Eric Thames. Thank you, everybody, for watching this video. If you would, please give me a subscribe and a thumbs up. If you ever want to get into a break, I need to have a lot more subscribers than what I have now. But I have a lot of unopened product that I'd like to start breaking for people. Um, we not only do baseball cards, but we do football, basketball, Pokemon, and soccer, and basketball. So if you would, leave me a like and subscribe. I hope everybody had a great weekend, had a wonderful holiday. And I'll see you next time. Next time we're going to open up some Pokemon. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.